want to refer to the Honorable De Halle. I've listened very carefully when she read her speech, and I want to congratulate her. At least now I know that there is one member in the EFF that can read. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you very much. Okay, um, order, 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 thank you. Members are reminded. Uh, order, Speaker, please. Chairperson. Yes, is this a point of order? Yeah, it's a point of order. Okay, please raise the point of order. It's actually a very racist assumption that members of the EFF, except the one that read, cannot read. We must take exception to that. It's racist, and you have started already being racist. You are racist. That's a racist statement, an anti-black statement. Um, Why do you say we can't read? Who are you? Honorable member, can I just... Um, just we can read. We can even order, read that you are racist. Could I, could I have order now? Thank you very must much. must withdraw that. Yeah. Could I just rule on this matter? Um, it's not parliamentary to specifically speak to a specific member. Um, you may not cast aspersions at a specific person, but you may also not use unparliamentary language. So I'm going to rule on this. Um, there's a, a precedent in terms of um, let's let's. I'm not going to ask the minister with, to withdraw anything because I don't think I can rule on whether the context was right or not. Yes, on a point of order, Chairperson, it is unparliamentary to refer to another member as a racist. And the Honourable Ndosi will have to withdraw that. Okay, no, I, I'm not going to could say I that. just, um, I actually made a ruling on that. Sorry, excuse me. Order, 